think when you're living together, it's important that there is some time that is kind of scheduled that we all spend together. And every time, like when we're done talking, we usually tend to do something. It was massage evening, movie evening, just going for a hike. There's like usually some kind of activity that we do together. And we just want to make sure that if something is uh, bothering somebody, it, it is hurt and everybody knows about it. And it's not kept, um, you know, kept bottled up inside. Okay, um, and then in the case where uh, there's something very present for me that I'd like to discuss with you and the meeting is in five days, should I wait for that meeting or should I discuss it with you directly, you know, informally? Mm, I think you should discuss it whenever you want, mm -hmm. like if it, especially if it's a one-on-one -on -one thing. So the things we, we discuss usually relate to the entire house like cleaning, organizing certain things, uh, something that is like happened repeatedly that maybe bothered someone. If it's one-on-one -on -one thing, I think to say it the, the earliest you can, I always think that it's better to, to say um, things a, as fast as you can. And actually my uh, co-founder of this community, Alisa, she really taught me that it's super important and it's doable. Like when I met her, um, we, we, something happened and she pretty much the same day, like wrote me, you know, something happened and I didn't like this, but this was really good and, and this and that. And I was like, well, that is like a lot of things and a lot of sharing. And with time, when I kind of, uh, got to know her better and we interacted more, I realized, wow, you can really share things as they come up and it doesn't cause a conflict. And, and it's a good thing and you don't keep things bottled up inside that bother you. And to me, it just brought an extra degree of, of freedom in my life and in my relationships with people. Yes, I can imagine. Um, yeah, thank you for that. Let's switch to, um, like, let's say the optimals, uh, meaning that what's the optimal size of people that you would share, say, a bathroom with? Um, or a one kitchen, actually, let's just be like one normal standard, very standard kitchen that we think about. Like, what? how many people are a good amount of people to have inside of their home? I have no idea. As many as, as can fit there comfortably, I guess. I think it really depends on the space. So if, if it gets too crowded, then um, I guess you need a bigger home. Yes. <laughs> and, nice. also, and also one thing to compare is that in my previous co-living situation, people would, for example, never wash their dishes after they use it. And what would happen that there was like, let's say some kind of big cleaning and the kitchen is clean. Somebody uses dishes, they put them just where, where they find them and other people put on top, on top and like within two days, the kitchen is just impossible mm. to use. And it just never happens here because everybody clean after themselves. And it's, it's not about, you know, some 